What's going on, peoples? What's happening? Another beautiful day. Um, this past weekend was a good weekend for, you know, anybody that's Atlanta, an Atlanta fan. There's a lot of people here that, uh, that's not Atlanta fans. A lot of people that are born here that, that don't even go for the fan, I mean, for the fan base that's here. You know, and, and each is on, you know, but the one thing that we are going to talk about, and let's, let's get to it, and that's going to be, um, those Falcons were able to win. The Dogs, they, were able, they, they won, even though they beat up on Georgia Tech. You know, no disrespect, because, I mean, it's still a Georgia team. You know, there are some people that sit back and have teams, you know, and, you know, you got some people that are Georgia, you got some people that are Georgia Tech. Me, personally, anything from Georgia, I'm going to represent, I'm going to fly with. If Tech was playing anybody else, I would have, you know, I would have went for Tech. Uh, unfortunately, it just came across the dogs. Uh, so, that's just how it is. But there's a lot of crazy things that are going on. And we are out of pocket when it comes down to raising our children, talking to one another, being around one another, loving one another befriending one another um, if, if, if you ain't real with me man just say listen you ain't gotta we can we can, I, I, we can be cool and I can hey what's going on how you doing I just don't have time for the for the for the foolishness man of it and I think that a lot of people are in that position right now you know what I'm saying I have nothing against nobody uh, whatever anybody do is whatever they do that's on them but I will say this, you know, people have a tendency to do some things and and they think that they can just, I, they can kind of get away with stuff. And it just, listen, everybody don't react the same way. You can catch somebody on a bad day and, and really, they change your whole life. They change your life. Today, since I'm in a blue mood today, I'm doing a Don Pepin, Don Pepin Blue. Uh, this has a little bit of oakiness to it. It's a medium smoke. It's from the Papine family, so it's gonna have the richness and the spice in the in the medium. Um, so, great price point. It's like 10, 11 bucks, you know, so it's a good cigar. Uh, if you want a little bit of, of spicy, not hot, not peppery, but just you can taste the, the, the spices on it. Um, and the oakiness, it has oakiness to it. So, you know, it's a great smoke. Great price point too. So for you guys to see it. It's the Don Papine Blue. And for some odd reason, a lot of, the, lot of your cigars that are coming out with the blue are usually always gonna be that medi just straight medium across the board. I don't know what it is, maybe it's the color um, you know, your colors represent certain lines. Um, a lot of times if you catch something that is, that is in a red band, if it's not a red, like as far as that, that, the company colors, uh, if you catch something usually in a red band, it, it lets you know that it's usually a spice or it's a, it, it, it got a, it got a little bit of pepper to it. Uh, if you catch something usually in a green, some of your green bands, it's usually a skewer. 
uh, it's an obscure rapper, uh, and that has a different profile to it. Your black usually represents a Maduro, something that's normally bold and dark. Um, your Connecticut is always going to be known by the shade of the of the cigar. The cigar, the cigar is always going to be considered uh, a really uh, brown shade. It's going to be real light brown shade. And if you notice with a with a with a Connecticut, I've noticed that when I, I try to smoke one, I can't hot box it. And what hot boxing is, is when you see someone that just constantly just they just constantly puffing. They always got the cigar and they constantly puffing. They don't allow for their for their cigars to actually breathe. Um, they don't allow for your cigar to actually, you know, get that uh, get your palate profile set up. That's just how some people smoke, and and that's you know I don't I don't knock anything from anybody. If that's how you smoke, that's how you smoke. Um, I've always had a tendency if I if I overdo it, it kind of distorts my taste buds. So I'm not able to really get a true analysis of the cigar. So for me, and I can only speak for me, I don't usually try to hot box it. If I see that I'm enjoying it that much to the point where I'm hot boxing, then what I try to do is back up off of it a little bit uh, and allow time for my, you know, because what happened is it, it'll everything will start tasting like it got fire to it, like it, like it's burning, it's hot. If you're overdoing it, uh, some people, you know, some people chew on these cigars. I'm not a big fan of chewing on my cigar. Um, I'm more of a of of a line of smoking good tobacco not chewing tobacco um a little secret what I do is I try to and because of the tobacco I usually always try to keep some type of Listerine or the goal is I know a lot of people don't like the goal but when it comes to cigar smoking uh and if you ever want to you know place yourself in a position where you may be getting some kisses from, you know, someone. You want to make sure that you're always fresh. You want to make sure that you're always, you know, presentable. You want to make sure that you're always, you know, your breath is on point. Um, so what I usually do is I'll, I'll, I do the, the gold uh, Listerine and boy, it burns but I try to make sure that I keep my mouth especially if I'm having conversations with people last thing that you ever want to do is to be having a conversation with a person and they sitting there smoking a cigar and you can smell their they breath over the cigar and you sit back and you go man come on this is not working so you know these are just certain you know light things that we do for cigar etiquette um Another thing, usually, you can base, based on, on what a person is smoking, if they're smoking something that's pretty exclusive, allow for them to create the conversation. You know, sometimes if a person is smoking something that is that, that we know for a fact that is, you know, a really, really good cigar, Allow for the person that's smoking that cigar to start the conversation because they could be in a, in a position whereas all they really want to do is just smoke that cigar. And how many times have we been in situations where we're smoking that that cigar that that you know it it, it was pretty costly or it's just it's it's a Padron sixty four eighty fifth or fiftieth anniversary or oh, hell a twenty six. Or better yet, if it's any cigar that you have that you you want to enjoy, let 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 people start the conversation. And and based upon the conversation, if they're engaging in the conversation, then you would know whether or not they are in a mood to talk. And that's how it is.
Now, I'm a, I'm a big Zippo fan. I love Zippos. You know, I just like the old, the oldness to it. You know, the teetering around with it. You know, you got some guys that know how to open them up and close them all funny and flippy and all that kind of stuff. Hey, man. I'm, I'm, I just like it. I, I, I think it it adds to the, the 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 stigma of cigars. It just you know when you sit back and see someone go and they hit that 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 you know and you got that soft flame. It's nothing like it. The only thing about it is not one of the be better uh, ways of lighting your cigar. Because it's it's a fuel, so it's going. It could change your taste. It could change your taste of your cigar. Uh, the clean once again, the cleanest way to, to light your cigar is going to be wood matches. Um, after wood matches, you can go cedar sticks, cedar pieces. After cedar pieces, you want to do butane because it's the cleaner of the of all of them. After butane, you know you could probably go, you know I want to say Zippo because it's going to be it's a fuel. And then it'll go from there, you know, unless you go your you know your bigs and your little you know grocery store or convenience store lighters. That you get for a dollar twenty-nine, that's fine. But nine times out of ten, that it's gonna take a minute for that cigar to light up on that, especially on a relight. On a relight, you can never get that that cigar lit right with a relight from a uh, big cigar. I mean, a big uh, lighter. It's never gonna light the same. So you need something that's gonna kind of get through that outer crust of the of the ash. Um, and go from there. You know. So I try to, you know, I try to keep everything across the board. Sometimes I talk about life. Sometimes I talk about cigars. Sometimes I talk about pairing. Sometimes I talk about uh, delusion, men and women. Sometimes I talk about children. I talk about a lot of different things. Um, I think that even with me being on social media right now, I think that we have to identify and understand that there are limits to, to a lot of things. You know, whatever it is that you do, understand that social media is it's supposed to be utilized for opportunity for entertainment, education, uh, a lot of things like that. But there are a lot of scams out there. There are a lot of people out there that is running, trying to run scams on people and thinking that you can't be found or touched. Now, I had a young person that came to me and it was talking about, hey, you know, I want to do your logo. I want to do your logo. I want to do your logo. I said, all right, man, I'm really, I really don't kind of mess with stuff like that. Uh, especially if, it's, if you look, if I'm looking, sitting here looking at your work. I'm looking at your body of work and a lot of your work, you know, is basically you know it's a it's a cartoon and and that's cool that's cool I have no problem with with the cartoon I just think that sometime when you are doing a if you're going into business you want your image or your logo to represent something your logo should represent the body of what it is that you're trying to achieve. 
uh, and it should be coordinated around whatever it is that you that you that you go out there and you do. You have to put some time and energy in trying to create a really good logo. Um, and so I was looking at some of the other work, and 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 I'm telling you, about this person was about six months. They were just, I can do you, I got you, sir, I got you, sir. I said, okay. So I sent the deposit over and didn't hear anything else about it. They gave me a rendition of a of what it is that I was, you know, of my logo. And I was like, no, 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 that's not that's not what I'm looking at. I, I advised, I, I told you from the from the jump that it has to be a very classy uh thing. You know. It got to have its elegance and it got to have its, it, you know, it got to be nice. It got to be pleasurable to the eye. I wanted to be able to attract several different types of, of clients. And so I got ghosted. I got ghosted. I got, I got, they, you know, I no longer, they're on my, they're no longer on my, what's the name? So I guess I've been blocked. But I didn't, I didn't say anything negative towards them. I just said, hey, I need a revision on my on my product. And this is what it is. It wasn't a lot of money. And it wasn't a lot for me to be in a situation where I need to go after somebody or I need to have to try to go out and try to find someone. Um, it was just the principle of it. You know, I was raised to the point where your, 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 your name should mean something. And if it, if it means anything, then you should definitely be in a position where as, hey, if I give you my word that I'm going to do something, that's exactly what I'm going to do. It might take me a while, but I'm going to do it. You got to stand on your word. Um, you know, I'm definitely the type of person where as if I tell you something, that's exactly what I'm, I'm going to do. Um, and if I can't do it, I'm going to let you know ahead of time, hey. This is the reason why I can't do it. So if it's an event, I didn't make it to your event. Hey, this is the reason why I'm not I'm not going to be able to make it to your event. And this is, you know, blah, blah, blah. And we'll go from there. So people are not built like that anymore. Um, they're not built about their word. They're not built about 